Vader betrays Anakin's former pod racing pal, Darth Vader number 43 recap. And the issue begins with Slymore interrogating Admiral Korlek, Agent Faberian, Governor Tauntaza, and this council member Zanto. They're all being interrogated for perceived slights against the Empire, even though Darth Vader is the real reason that they're being interrogated. He was essentially around all four of these characters doing something shady against the Empire, and they are taking the fall for it. Very Imperial, if you will. Anyway, Sly is interrogating them, not because she's doing the bidding of Palpatine, but she's trying to recruit some members for the Schism Imperial. So, after a little loyalty test, she realizes that the council member is a little too into Palpatine. So she fries him and lets the others know, like, like listen, you, you know what the Emperor is like. We, we can't let this man serve. We gotta take things over. But, to do that, to get your freedom back, you need to essentially take it up the bum if you will so they they all get kind of demoted they're all doing uh, menial labor within the empire you remember one was an admiral one was big in the iss one was a freaking governor and now they're doing basic work office jobs running docks and you know a little bit of welding so they've bought in the sly but not really loving their new lives anyways down the road vader comes to meet governor tantaza to kind of test her loyalties a bit can he trust her to work within this schism imperial? He even brings his rebel cyborgs that he created during the dark droid run. So anyway, she's like, what are you going to do to me? He, he shows her what he's going to do. He cuts her up, rips her out, uses a force, and pretty much says, you know, listen, we need you. I need your skills with that world-eating device that uh, he fought her for way, way, way back many issues ago. When we first realized that Vader ran into his buddy Kitster uh, well, well past his pod racing days. Anyways, this is where Tantaza learns that Vader has been recruited to the Schism Imperial. And you just let him know, like, listen, you, you better not betray me because this is what will happen to you. So, like I said, they need her talents to work on this world-destroying device that Tantaza used to run. And Vader's like, listen, man, you, you need to help me. And she's like, dude, you almost died the last time you tried to take it out. And he's like, whatever, just, just help me. So meanwhile, out on the Outer Rim, the Rebels, which now have this device, um, kind of have it set up, and they want to do a test run. And as you can see, Kitster is involved, as he was many, many issues ago with this device when Vader perceivably saved his old friend uh this time around that's not happening vader shows up with his rebel cyborgs they kill the rebel general and essentially take over the facility and he tells kids they're like listen we need to kick this laser off this this weapon this world eater we need to do it right now and unlike last time this time he is betraying kidster chokes him out pretty much says just do it do it like my boss used to say so they activate the machine on this rebel base and it just wipes everyone out clearly the people are distraught they did not want to do this they didn't want to kill their friends but um vader's like listen hey you, you guys asked for my help before i told you i would bring order and of course he's bringing order in his type of fashion because order to vader comes from power Hey, if you like this type of content, make sure to sub to the Star Wars Time Show on YouTube, socials, and podcasts.